Hello friends, you like reading the book? Wow, I like reading the book. Well, this is from Dawn and Green. You can. Let's read. And that is why. Before you do a thing, ask why. A great deal of the lost motion of the world's result from headlong action going into a task without cause, without some definite purpose, without first finding out why. Before you do a thing, ask why. Let why lead you on and save you power. Simply answer with promptness the silent questions. Give unto why a substantial reason for the fibre that is within you. Before you do a thing, ask why. Ask yourself, why should I do this thing? Why should I refuse to do it? Put your actions to the why test. Think of the wealth of happiness that the habitual use of why can bring you. Before, do, before you do a thing, ask why. Make why very personal. Why do I squander so much time? Why do I appreciate so little the chance to leave? Why do I use so small a fraction of my brain ability? Why do I not make more friends? Why do I worry about the things that never happened? Why do I scold when I should cheer? Again, why? Before you do a thing, ask why. Keep why busy about your house. And at the nightfall of each day gathering to convention, the whys of each thought and act. Before you do a thing, ask why. Eliminate the regretful. Put yourself on the stand hourly. Ask and answer with fortitude and freedom, unafraid of fright performed. Ask yourself this question, am I a success or am I a failure? If you are a failure, no amount of explanation will change the results for the one thing the world will never forgive is failure. The world wants successful, it worships success, but it has no time for failures. The only way one may explain away his failure is by trimming his sails through self-discipline. So the circumstances of his life lead him to success. It is a great day in a person's life when he sits down quietly and has, and has a heart to heart talk with himself for he is sure to make discoveries about himself which will be helpful although his discoveries may give him a shake. Nothing is ever accomplished by merely wishing, hoping or daydreaming. Earnest self-analysis help one to rise above all of this. No one can get something for nothing, although many have tried to do so. Everything worth having has a definite price and that price must be paid. The circumstances of one's life make this very essential. By Napoleon Hill, 1883. Sign up. Thank you. And forget not. Bye. You can.